Today we are going to show you how to safely migrate your YouTube channel brand account to a different Google personal account. Now according to this YouTube support doc, doing so would delete your comments and a bunch of other things that you don't want to lose. Also contrary to what YouTube says, this does work on workspace accounts including legacy G Suite accounts which YouTube is about to retire. I ain't getting out of bed today, baby. Keep waking up from the previous night. Beginning with the original YouTube account, in my case this account lives in the legacy G Suite environment. From the YouTube studio, click your avatar and go to settings. First thing we're going to do is add or manage your channels. And you can see here I have a personal account which is not going to work. And we have a brand account. The brand account is what we're working with. For this to work, that is a requirement that your YouTube channel be a brand account. And back to settings, we're going to go to add or remove managers. Click that manage permissions button. You're going to get challenged with your username and password. Now click invite new users on the top right. This is where we're going to add whatever personal Google account you are migrating your brand account channel to. You want to assign that account the owner role. Now go log into that destination Google account. You'll have to accept the invitation to become an owner to begin with. Once you clicked accept, that destination Google account is now an owner of that YouTube channel aka that brand account. Notice the avatar has an R now because I'm still signed in with that destination Google account. When I go to add or manage your channels, you can see now the test channel move brand account is there. Now let's go back to the account the channel was originally created on and look at a posted video. I've created a number of scenarios here, included likes, comments, and replies from various different accounts. Some are brand accounts, some are accounts existing in the same legacy G Suite environment, some are just people I know who I got to reply, and then I liked and replied as well from these different accounts. What I'm trying to test here is that these comments, 100% of them remain after I'm done. I'm checking the comments from an alternate view in the comments section, and I've got more than enough examples here captured on screen to make sure nothing goes wrong after I make the move. I worked with YouTube support and you can see conflicting statements saying otherwise, saying you had to move the account. I'm here to tell you, you don't have to do that. Specifically, that bullet point number two. But real quick, I'm going to show you where that is so you don't do it. Back to settings, you're going to click view advanced settings. Move channel, move channel to your Google account or different brand account. Now it's showing me other brand accounts I can move this channel to. Should you do it? No. Well, John, then why are you showing us? Because in case you read that document on your own, you get all clicky clicky, you're going to move your channel and you're going to lose a bunch of stuff. It's time to cross your fingers and push the button. Once again, we are logged in as the original brand account. From YouTube Studio, click the avatar, click settings. Going back to add and remove managers. Click manage permissions, you're going to be challenged once again. We are going to transfer the primary ownership of this brand account to that destination Google account. Note, once you do this, the original account is no longer the primary owner. Essentially, the destination account becomes the God account. It can do anything. Click transfer and... Oh, shit. What the Google? And it turns out you have to wait seven days after you make that destination Google account an owner before you can transfer primary ownership. Okay, while we wait seven days, let's see where we're at. Number one, this only works on YouTube channels that are part of a brand account. You must wait seven days after assigning the owner role to the destination Google account before you can do a primary ownership transfer. This will not transfer any purchases that were made on the original Google account, like YouTube Premium or Google Drive. It should transfer your YouTube subs, but you should back them up anyway just in case. Now I'm John, if you stay to the end of this video, I promise to find that guy who's been knocking over your garbage cans for a small fee. But anyway, remember who you were supposed to be and drop a comment, drop a like, click the sub button and click that bell so you won't miss anything. Let's try this again. Click that destination account, make it the primary owner and click transfer. We see ownership is transferred and now we'll just confirm. Log into that destination Google account. This is now the primary owner. If you click on the email, Google will send you. It'll take you right to the manage permissions tab. You'll have to log in, you'll be challenged. And you'll see the primary ownership not only went through, but it did not delete any of the existing owners on the channel. It means that original Google account still has ownership and administrative privileges to that brand account slash YouTube channel. A quick look here shows all those comments we looked at before are indeed in place as are the likes to the video. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Subscriptions look like they came over too. In addition to any comments I made on other people's videos. 
Essentially, that destination Google account now owns that brand account and also the YouTube channel that comes along with it. But what happens when they turn off that legacy G Suite or you decide to leave Workspace? Let's find out by removing the original account. In other words, the original account you created the YouTube channel on. This is where the nail biting kind of begins. That user is removed. There is no connection between the original account that created this channel and the destination one that is now the primary owner. Let's make sure by going and logging into that original account, which is still part of that workspace slash legacy G Suite. And you can see, not only did it remove it from owner, but there are no administrative abilities from this Google identity to that YouTube channel anymore. Furthermore, there was an additional personal account that I gave ownership permissions to. And when we log in as that one, that has retained ownership ability and administrative oversight to that YouTube channel. By adding a third owner, it's a good contingency plan should something go wrong with the primary ownership transfer and lock you out of your brand account slash YouTube channel. Okay, but what happens when they finally nuke Legacy G Suite altogether? Or you decide you don't want Workspace anymore and you nuke that as well. Let's find out. From the Google Admin Console, we're gonna completely delete that user. We're not gonna transfer any data. We're not gonna keep anything. That's it. It is nuked off the face of the earth. Now we'll go back to our destination Google account. It is the new primary owner and any semblance of the original creator account is gone. We've deleted it. And as you can see, everything is still in place. All the comments are there, the likes are there, your subs are there, everything is good. Even the comments we made on that other video are still there. Let's see if we could stick the landing here and confirm what we found out. YouTube is a totally separate team from Workspace and G Suite. Those Workspace and G Suite guys are not going to be able to help you get your channel out. Whatever free transition option they're talking about, due to the backlash from the legacy G Suite stuff, is not going to help transition YouTube. It's intended to help transfer purchases, for example, apps, subscriptions, etc. The Google account, the identity itself, is completely separate from the brand account YouTube channel. The data from the channel lives within the brand account. That's why everything comes over, not within Workspace or G Suite. Don't forget, if you have AdSense and everything on the original account, they're going to turn it off. So make sure you move that to an alternate account as well. Finally, Google makes changes all the time. If they sunset brand accounts like they did Google+, Plus, you better check to make sure this will still work. This proves conclusively you do not have to actually move your channel to any other account. All you need to do is transfer primary ownership. You just have to do it in the right order. You have to prepare in advance. And if you follow the steps carefully, you can successfully migrate your YouTube channel slash brand account out of Workspace Legacy G Suite to any personal Google account you want. This is confirmed in my final reply from YouTube support here. My hypothesis being the move function is only to move channels within the same Google identity. The primary transfer option is to transfer brand accounts between different Google identities. Hope that makes sense. I hope you like this video. If you like knocking about a bit on this channel, you can check out these videos over here, or you can join the Discord and check me out on Twitch. I'll see you guys in the next one.